up, y'all? It's your girl, Janae. And I'm back with another bomb video. Let's go, let's get it. As you guys can see, my hair is a hot mess right now. Like a hot mess. Um, I just washed it. And I also just used uh, a Fiji um, two-step treatment, protein treatment. It looks like this. I saved the package because I wanted to show y'all, like, the type of stuff that I use on my hair. Um, this is really good for if you have colored hair and, like, you're suffering from uh, dry hair or breakage or anything like that. So, it's really good. I put some in my hair. It's got rinsed out and... It, it brung some juice like my hair is kind of juicy right now and i'm feeling it so with all of that being said y'all i'm gonna just go ahead and give y'all a hair tutorial Ooh, i'm feeling a little comfy y'all can't see me like y'all can't see the whole zone so like y'all don't i'm feeling comfortable i want to show y'all my um fuzzy socks from dollar tree I'm thinking about getting a P.O. box and, like, everybody just send me fuzzy socks and, like, fuzzy gloves and fuzzy scarves and a fuzzy hat and all of that. Like, because I want all of that. I love fuzzy socks. Like, if you really be looking at my Instagram pictures and stuff, you'll probably see, like, fuzzy socks in the cut somewhere. But, yeah, I cop the best fuzzy socks from Dollar Tree, literally. But anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and hop into this video. I don't usually use a towel, but... I usually do my hair routine while I'm in the shower because I'm that lazy person. Like, I'll put the leave-in in while I'm in the shower and like I'll put my cream in and then when I get out the shower, I'll put my gel in because it's just like, this is a lot to handle. But let me stop talking and do my hair. I lost my ponytail holder. Oh no. So let me go get another one because that's not gonna be good. Oh, goofy in a mug. All right. Basically, during this video, I'm going to talk to y'all about, like, because people ask me a lot of hair questions. So, I'm going to answer these questions and do my hair at the same time. And hopefully, I don't, um, stretch out by doing this. So, I'm going to need another ponytail holder. Hey, I'm back, I'm just playing. Um, so, yeah. I grabbed my spray bottle, too, just in case, because it's a little dry out. Just a little bit, just a little bit. People ask a lot of questions about my blonde hair and about how i transformed from so many colors because this summer i had purple i had black this summer and believe it or not that black that i had oh my gosh y'all rinse y'all brushes out for real so yeah um people ask a lot of questions about how like i went from professionally getting blind to um getting uh purple pink like i got like a fuchsia color um people asked about that a whole bunch um and like basically with that like when i did that process i was really scared i did that process all by myself y'all um i was really scared like i'm not gonna lie i was very scared um not when i was going like fuchsia because i knew that like putting color over blonde wouldn't like do too much Keep going I had to get the the uh, fuchsia out of my hair, and then I had to put, uh, I wanted to go back blind. I know y'all like, oh my gosh, this girl's so confused. Yes, I really did want to go back blind, even though I was like already blind. I wanted to go back blind. Um, so like during that process, I like color removed my hair, and um, when I did that, it didn't take it to the blonde like I wanted to. So I was really upset, really. I was at like a brown. And I was like, oh my goodness, I really want to go back blonde. And I color removed again. So I color removed like two times. And it just would not like go how I wanted it to. And so then I finally just was like, okay, maybe I do need to dye blonde if I really want to go blonde. And at that point, y'all, I was really just like, my hair fall out, that'll be nobody's fault but mine. <laughs> and I did that process and I was really scared again like as the, the bleach was in my hair yeah people ask a lot of questions about that but anyways y'all I started talking way too fast before I even showed y'all what products I was using in my hair okay 
So I only have one product in my hair right now. And my hair is acting a damn food. I got Antoine Couture Leave-In Conditioner. This is a really good product because it's all vegan and it has all natural products in there. Um, no added, like, any of the added bad um, It's like 100% raw and it's a very good product. And it smells good. And then I got Incredible Curls by Jane Carter Solution. Um, if you have like more of a loose curl pattern, I would like say that this is for you. Um, it's all right for my hair, but I have to pair it with like a, a stronger gel, if you understand what I mean. It's a process trying to understand like how your, how your hair works and like what your hair likes too, because like for me, my hair has been through a lot, like chemicals, all of this and all that and like my products have changed like there used to be products that my hair used to love that it does not want anymore like it's 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 crazy like you just got to understand though and i have this from shea moisture virgin coconut oil line um this is just like a styling gel and i love it a whole bunch like you don't even have to it's sulfate free and it's color free and um you don't really even have to like put a whole bunch of that on anything because like the product spreads out if you don't like to be like too in tune with like having curly hair and stuff like that it's gonna be hard for you because like there's been times when like y'all when i first went natural i only went natural because of i was influenced by my cousin so I went natural when I first did. I did not take care of my hair at all. I only put products on the end of my hair. I would have mats at my roots in it. Like, I would literally just take the mats and just split them because I didn't care. Like, and having natural hair is a, like, it's a part-time job. I'm not going to say a full-time job. It's a part-time job. Um, And you have to be willing to care for it, for real, for real. Because, like, you don't want to, because, like, it's just like everybody's not able to handle natural hair. There's been times where I just was like, bald me, please. Please. Because, yeah, I don't know if y'all are any of them type of people, but I'm the girl that gets mad because the ponytail won't stay up. And my arms is tied. And so I'm pissed off now. Yeah, I was definitely one of them girls. I know routine feel, so. Really? Like, you should really do that because. Having a routine will get you far. Like last uh, fall and winter, I was very serious about my hair. Like I took it so serious, I deep conditioned so often. Another one. Because I just, I cared about it. And like, I was like, okay, I get a lot of compliments about my hair. I should really keep my hair up to date. But it's a process y'all. And if you're not about that life, then don't, don't start that life. <laughs> Having natural hair is not very cheap because you gotta buy all these products. And if you like me, I had to experiment. So y'all, here is the back of my hair. Product applied. I'll be back with her. All right, y'all. So this is what your girl looked like after she put all of them products in her hair. This is the back. This corner right here is like kind of dry already because I played too much and I took a little break um but yes and usually i would diffuse because it is winter where i live at but the frizz that comes from diffusing y'all will piss you off like it'll look like you need a whole new wash and go because listen you can diffuse on cool but if you diffuse on cool you're gonna be diffusing for about three hours Let's be real. I don't like to diffuse on cool. I want to diffuse that shit be done. That's the point of diffusing. If I, I would uh, air dry if I didn't want to diffuse. But with air, uh, diffusing with heat comes frizz. So, and the frizz can really get crazy with the diffuser. So, that being said, I just choose to air dry. And I noticed that when I air dry, my curls are a lot smoother. They are a lot bouncier. They, like, air drying is the move. It really is. So, y'all, I will be back with the dry results. Y'all, this is my hair. 
completely dried, a hot mess. Quick spin, 360. So y'all, what I usually do after my hair is dry like this. Hold on, gotta go get my pick. Okay, so basically what I do is like, I did want to talk to y'all more about like what I do for my hair because y'all do ask a lot of questions about my hair on my Instagram page. So, you guys, I hope you all like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to find me on Instagram at Janae Michelle underscore. Hit that follow button when you find me. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna keep saying the subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Now. <laughs> but yes, y'all. I'll be back with more videos. Don't forget to check me out. Peace.